At Hannah Sub, we have five different henna powders, and in this series, where I'm breaking down the benefits and the uses and everything about each henna powder that we carry, this time we're going to be talking about the Moroccan henna powder, which is actually one of the first henna powders I ever used back in Montreal when I started Henna Sook. I absolutely love it. It's so unique. It has a really great texture. It also smells really unique as well and has its own like kind of green tone naturally because all henna powders from different regions are similar in benefits but they honestly are a little bit different in the color results and the texture kind of like how you have apples you know for example growing in different regions they all vary some are sweet some are tart some are hard you know they have little variables that are different and make each of those unique just the same way that henna powder is so let's talk more about moroccan henna powder and what makes it unique and how you can use it for henna hair dye hair care treatments and also for gorgeous henna body art designs so what exactly is moroccan henna powder i feel like sometimes people presume that we name our henna powders just to give them a fancy name every name of our henna powders has significance and what is rooted here at henna Sook is that we really care about where these ingredients originate from so moroccan henna powder is from morocco this is exactly where it grows and this is exactly where it gets filled and this is exactly where we import our moroccan henna powder from and like various henna powders that we carry they all have little benefits little quality differences that you can see amongst the henna powders like a benefit meaning like one has a creamy texture you know it's very smooth easy to apply one might be a little bit more stringy so some people have different preferences for things like that especially henna artists you'll find that a lot but this is definitely used for hair dyeing for ayurvedic deep conditioning masks for strengthening and also you can use this for henna body art as well and it gives a rich copper tone it's so gorgeous i really feel that moroccan henna stays a really beautiful red coppery tone uh, just naturally you know without going like dark in like a more of a browner or burgundy tone so you definitely need to try this one out if you're a henna artist that hasn't as yet and for hair it's the same similar color you get that beautiful copper tone so generally the same benefits of like what henna does for you which is the strengthening and it acts like a protein treatment and it quotes the hair strands it protects you from the elements it just does all of that naturally as its natural benefits of the herb just texture differences color variations oh, oh look at the moroccan henna powder look at it it looks i get so excited every time i open up a new package i'm kind of like oh let me see so i absolutely love this henna powder and you can see just how green it is look i'll pour some in a bowl just look at that pop of green it's so unique because look what i have right here see how different that is but it's still henna this is the Jamila henna powder. This one's just a, tends to be naturally a little bit more greenish brown and darker range like that. Indian henna powders tend to be a, in between these two almost. You know, it's, it's just really interesting. But Moroccan henna powder, hands down, is very vibrant green. No additives, no metallic salts, no compound henna, no trash ingredients. It is just pure henna powder right from the Sahara. This one has its own green tea kind of scent. It just, ugh, it's so luxurious. And what's great about Moroccan henna powder as well, why do people love it? Is that it has such a fast dye release. It's like ready in like one or two hours. Like you do not let, need to let this sit out longer. Actually, in fact, when you let it sit out too long, you're not gonna get all the color benefits because it's just, <laughs> you know, you're just letting all that good dye pass on by by letting it sit out too long. So it's ready in one to two hours. And it, what's really cool is the way that they use henna in Morocco in particular. Like this is actually a drum. It's like a tambourine almost style. Like you could put a stick here and you can kind of, you know, you know, they use it to celebrate. And sometimes you'll have like beads inside here. So what they've done in this drum in particular is that they use the henna. Everything that's brown here is actually henna designs. And it stains also leather like this, like this drum. If you wanted to take it off, 
it would leave like this reddish orangish type of stain but they did seal it on here and leave it on so that way it looks a little bit darker and it gives it a bit more of an outline but moroccan henna they soak it in vats i saw it with my own eyes in Fez, it was amazing. You could see them using henna soaked in these deep vats. And in these vats of dye with the henna, they're trying to pull out that color and they're gonna use that to dye fabric. And we got this gorgeous leather jacket there that was kind of like this burnt orange tone because of henna, so cool. So henna has a lot of uses in art and henna hair dyeing. Ayurvedic like herbal hair masks and deep conditioning treatments is what you can use henna for and also you can use it for a gorgeous henna body art. So I have some warm to hot distilled water here. I'm gonna mix it and tell you a little bit more about Moroccan henna powder as I do so. Remember to only add your liquid a little at a time. So Moroccan henna powder, how we procure it is that we work with henna farms right in Morocco. And directly, we source the henna powder from them. But first, before it's a powder, and before it gets into this gorgeous pouch, how does this happen? Well, at the henna farm, when it's time to cultivate and cut you know, the henna plant, which is actually a very small, cute, adorable bush, and then they cut all you know, the best parts of the plant, which are like the top leaves, you know, they'll trim all that out and take that, and then they're going to dry it. Then they dry all those leaves, and once they're fully dry, then from there they clean it. They clean it really well. They put it through a machine that can clean off any excess dirt, any sand, and it also sorts out any twigs and little trash anything that's really they don't want to have in our batch of henna powder and then from there they're going to take those leaves and they're all dry they're all nice and clean and tidied up no debris on it and then they're going to start sifting it into a very fine powder and they you know do that through a machine and then they also do a lot of it by hand they are like literally grinding it into a powder then we work with the women's cooperative and then they get it triple sifted. They're gonna be putting it through a very, very fine mesh. And then they're gonna be getting it powder soft and fine and just, you will not be having any of that like twigs and debris, even like even less. You're gonna get pure, pure, pure powder that is so fine. It's absolutely just creamier and smooth and then easy to wash out of your hair. It just is such a great henna powder because of that. And it's extremely unique to henna sook. It is very hard to find Moroccan henna powder of this quality, of this sift and grade and of color results anywhere else. So this particular henna powder, I would recommend it definitely for henna artists and especially great to use when you need a batch made very quick and you don't have time to let it sit like extra amount of hours for a dye release. I really love this henna powder for that. I would also highly recommend this henna powder for those looking to get a beautiful rich copper tone without it going dark, which is some of you really don't want it to go dark. Some of you even cutting it with cassia to make it more strawberry blonde or a little bit more of a blonder undertone. You could definitely use this henna powder for that. It's perfect for that actually. And for those of you trying to achieve black tones or a really dark brown, and you want a henna powder that's not gonna peek out so much red, then you need to use the Moroccan henna powder in your mix with your indigo because it's going to be perfect for that. And wait till you see the dye release. It just happens so quickly. It's been about an hour or two that our Moroccan henna has been sitting. And now I'm gonna show you how it looks in that dye release. Push back a little bit of the paste and you'll see it'll be a little bit lighter right underneath the surface of the henna, showing you that it has dye release. And then also sometimes it'll pull, like the dye will pull and see that dye release and you can see how creamy and smooth it's gotten and it's about ready to use. I might add a little bit more water just to make it slightly, ever so slightly a little bit more, you know, liquidy to apply to hair. And again, you can get great results with this henna powder for henna hair dyeing, for body art, and even strengthening moisturizing treatments as well.
And I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that this video was helpful and it helps you kind of decide which henna powder you want to use. Gorgeous Moroccan henna powder. It's so pretty. I love it. So the packaging, but I just love everything about this henna powder. It's so much fun. It's so versatile and you can do so much with it. And I love that it's ready so quick. So I hope this helped you out. Make you decide like, you know, what you want to use next in your henna hair care journey. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and the bell because I'm trying to hit 100K by the end of this year. So please subscribe so you don't miss any of our great content. And I'm going to also be showing you some new videos about how to use henna hair dye in the salon that you don't want to miss that either. So I'll see you next time. Thanks again.